Pets, it could be a game changer for retail. KPI X5's Kid Doe shows us artificial intelligence will soon be put to work at Walmart stores around the country. For a glimpse of the future of retail, we head to Walmart in Milpitas. The company is launching a small army of autonomous scanning robots. That's a nice one. It's so cool. It's about six feet tall, equipped with an array of lights, cameras, and radar sensors. It goes up and down each aisle on its own, about two to three miles per hour, scanning the shelves for empty spots and also checks the price tags. Because the robot uses LiDAR and other video cameras, what it actually sees is very similar to what self-driving cars see. The three-dimensional world it sees is detailed enough for the algorithm to figure out what's missing and needs restocking. And when an employee standing on a ladder gets in view of the camera, yeah, it'll scan that too. Do you feel like a proud papa? <laughs> Martin Hitch is the chief business officer at Bossa Nova based in San Francisco, the company that made the robot. He says it's supposed to drive around obstacles and look for alternative routes. We boxed it in with four TV cameras earlier and it made a decision on the fly as to how to figure out a way around so that it could carry on with its job. That's the most rewarding thing. The robot can scan an aisle in about 90 seconds. That's a fraction of the time it would take a human to do the same job. It doesn't get bored, distracted, and presumably doesn't make mistakes. The goal? Fewer empty shelves and better selection. Walmart is testing the robot in 50 stores across four states. Wow, so is that taking somebody's job? It's not taking somebody's job. It's, it's designed to improve the job. Deborah Espinoza is skeptical. She works at San Jose International Airport and says when automated checkout was introduced there, cashiers were laid off. Uh, Walmart says that they are freeing up their associates to provide better customer service. You buy that? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Walmart says it's still too early to say how the robots will impact their workforce. Because technology changes the types of jobs that we have, but nothing will replace um, customer service and human interaction and being with other people and being serviced by a human. In Milpitas, Kitto, KPIX5.